Captain's Log. Stardate, April 25th, 2014. The journey of the USS Mantis Crew. I'm not going to continue with this. Why did, did I ever change the name of the ship before? Because if I did, I'm a fucking idiot. The Gila Monster is the greatest name for a ship of all time. We're still looking for our first win with any ship on normal. Uh, but in particular, I am going to roll with the Mantis Cruiser. And how are we going to do this? We're going to send two Mantises over here. Why am I um, additionally saying... Oh man, these Mantises move quickly thanks to that augment that we start with. But um, why am I... Uh, Playing as the Mantis Cruiser? Well, simply put, we played as the Lania ship last time, and I had a really good time once I actually got the Crew Teleporter. So the Crew Teleporter is something I'm going to be uh, experimenting with a little bit. We have a Med Bay, not a Clone Bay. So this is something that is actually pretty important for us to keep in mind. Once we get a Clone Bay, we're going to just use Suicide Mantises all the time. That's a, That would be a good trade if I had any drone parts, but I don't. So uh, we're going to try to get as much scrap as possible. And I'm still acclimating, my, acclimating myself to normal. Um, normal mode, I should say. By the way, thank you to everyone who has been uh, leaving me, you know, helpful comments and, and criticisms and stuff like that about how to uh, improve my play. I think we've been doing a pretty good job. Hopefully, uh, or I've been doing a pretty good job. I don't want to toot my own horn, but still. Um, hopefully, we can keep that going here. We'll see. What, what do you mean, not enough system power? Oh, I can only use one at a time. I see. So, if they have one bar of shields, then I'm actually just in a a kind of a scary position here, aren't I? We'll send our Mantis to fight them, and maybe our NG can pilot. In fact, it's probably a good idea to have our NG pilot anyway. Actually, you know what? Shields are going to be completely out here, so that was really stupid of me to uh, keep my small bomb active when I totally should have deactivated that, activated the basic laser instead. Did the bomb actually work? Apparently not, I guess. Um, we have no shields, so we're in a little bit of a scary position here. Why do I think that we should put the Mantis um, in the uh, engine room here? Seems to make much more... Oh, we need another Ion Storm here. Seems to make uh, much more sense to me to put our Mantis in there. Because in doing so... This is not going well so far, admittedly. We'll fix that teleporter up in a second, but... Uh, first things first, you get back in here. Um, I think it makes more sense to do things this way. Because if we do things this way, uh, we should be able to kill them very easily. Where was I even going with this? I, I forgot what I was saying. Took out the med bay. Probably should have taken out the shields just in case another ion storm came. But we should be able to kill their crew. And we did. And we got fired him. Another Mantis crew member, which is actually awesome. Okay, so things are going out here. Uh, let's close all doors, open all doors, get the oxygen going again. You guys get over here and repair. Now, okay, to finish the train of thought of what I was saying earlier. This might be a little confusing because of the way that I've kind of gone through this dialogue to start with. But uh, please put this fire out. Put the fire out. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Um, I want a Mantis in the engine room and not in the piloting system because in doing so, we can now teleport these guys back onto our ship and they'll come into a different room. Uh, but in doing so, that should allow us to um, keep our Mantis available for combat in case somebody boards us. And it's, I don't know, why not have the NG pilot instead? Seems like an okay idea to me. Um, so who's this guy? This is Tomas. He needs to heal up. This is a very weird first encounter here. I'll, I'll admit that I kind of botched it right off the bat. Where's it? Where's fired him? Fired him? Where you at, buddy? This is you? Oh, you're not. You're, you're supposed to be our weapons personnel. Um, and then you guys are in here. And then our NG is going to be our pilot from now on. We're one big happy family. Let's just get everyone healed up in the med bay. I apologize for this being a very cumbersome introduction here. That's okay. We're going to be fine. We're going to save it up in a second. Obviously, I would like to have some of our systems come back online before I jump to another sector. We should be able to make that happen. Give it a second. All right, now's the perfect time to jump. I think. We'll go over to this kind of hub and spoke here, and we're fine. That's good. We're going to respectfully decline their trade, so we're all good to go. Let's save our position here. Close everything up. All right. I do want to pick up a second bar of weapon power because I think it just makes sense to have bomb and laser going at the same time. Otherwise, we're very much at the whim of kind of like the ship that we teleport to in order to see if we're going to survive. Only having one bar of shields is actually super scary here too. But it means we should have basic laser up instead of small bomb because we can just shoot it uh, effectively when necessary. So we're going to go on their weapons right off the bat with our uh, Mantis crew members. That Zoltan might actually be a little dangerous. He could explode and do some damage to us, uh, especially with that rock man there as well. Basic lasers uh, coming up here. Just give it a second. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. Med bay and oxygen. Well, that oxygen's got to get fixed up. I mean, I guess we should send the mantises to do it, but the NG doing it makes a lot more sense. Wait till they get hit by an asteroid. There we go. Then we'll hit their shields with our laser. And those are going to go offline. 
We should hunt down that rock man. He's probably the last crew member remaining on their ship. Good. We're done. All right, so you teleport back here. Might as well get you guys fixing up the oxygen so it goes a little bit faster. Four mantises, uh, roughly the same as one NG, apparently. We shouldn't get hit by an asteroid, but I can't confirm that that will uh, be the case. We could use more crew members, but mostly I want to pick up a clone bay, another bar of weapon power, some extra dodge chance, etc., etc. It would all be very, very nice to have. And uh, I'm, I'm not holding out a lot of hope that we're going to win with the Mantis Cruiser, but I have heard a lot of people suggest that it's one of the easiest ships to win with, so if we manage to make it work, then uh, more power to us, I suppose. 49 scrap is a, a decent amount to maybe make something happen in the future. Let's jump a little bit more, and uh, we're going to have another ship that we have to get involved with. As long as we don't have to fight uh, Zoltan ships, we're fine. Now, this is a scary one. Why? If we teleport on board their ship, they could get away. So I'm actually just going to play it super safe, and uh, they're not going to board us. What we're going to try to do first is maybe drop, like, a small bomb in their piloting system. Oh, man, they have a fucking... They have a flak cannon as well. This is really scary for me. That's a really good ship for them. Our med bay doesn't work, so their piloting system is completely out. Then what we're going to do is kill them from the inside out. We're going to teleport on board. And we're going to drop another small bomb on their engines. So they can't get to us. Their flak cannon is going to ruin us. Yeah, but we need to make sure that they can't get away. And this is the most easy way to make this happen, I think. So by taking out their engines and their pilot, it's good. Now we'll just come in here and... Oh my god, I really should drop this next small bomb on their uh, weapons area. The flat cannon. Ooh, took out my teleporter, but that actually shouldn't be that big of a deal. Small bomb on their weapons, take those completely out. Good, well, that's good enough. One laser is fine. Who's almost dead? We actually can't get you out of there until this teleporter gets fixed. So let's send the NG and the Mantis to fix up this teleporter and you can become our pilot temp. We don't really need a pilot. You should get out of here. You can take him. You can take him. You got it. Then we can take out the clone bay. And we'll be fine. You're nearly dead. Let's drop a bomb on this clone bay once we get our, our mantis. No, oh, you get out of there, you dongle. There we go. Then get you here. Um, mantises are nearly dead. The clone bay's dead, though. Uh, now that we can teleport them back, I'm going to teleport them back. And this might actually be the dumbest idea of all... Oh, we can't actually teleport anyone over there right now, either. Um, so let's get this medbay fixed up as soon as possible. Get the NG in there. I think I botched this, like, miserably. But if they only have one crew member left, what do you think he's trying to fix right now? Get Their clone bay is deactivated, so... I can't actually see what he's trying to fix. This is going to be active again in a second. Um, Tomas, you're going to be going over here with our other uh, fresh-faced young recruit. Right about now. Weapons room? Yeah, there you are. It's kind of a weird fight, but it's it's worked out just fine for us. Oh, they actually got... They got fixed. Uh, oh, no, they're all dead. Okay, but the flat cannon will still damage us, because, of course, life is unfair. Anyway, why don't you fix up the weapons there? Tomas, at least you should get to the med bay. He might just be called Thomas. I don't know if I'm accidentally... Europeanizing the pronunciation of the name. That's okay, though, too. Nothing wrong with that. And I would say that I haven't performed amazingly yet. But I'm happy with where we are. As long as we're not dead, I'm happy with where we are, at least. Hopefully we can... Ooh, yeah. Hopefully we can get to another store before the end of the sector. Maybe pick up a cloning bay, and then I'll have to worry a lot less about whether or not my uh, troops actually die. So, this is a, a seems like a fairly textbook operation here. Teleport onto the enemy ship. Probably want to go into the weapons room because they have a flat cannon, which is annoying as hell. They also have a human. So we should get small bomb working instead of our, our laser because uh, that's actually going to be effective for us. And the flat cannon scares the shit out of me always. But since we're not really relying on our weapons, it's basically just hull damage. It's not that big of a deal. So we got some level ups on our, um, on our fighting skills there. We also got hacking stun. And I believe this means if we hack a, a system on the enemy ship, they also get stunned if there's like an, an NPC or sorry, an enemy inside of it. NPC, enemy, one reviews music, one is Deckard Kane. Now, no store still. We could upgrade ourselves a little bit. I kind of love the strategy of saving scrap though, so we'll see if there's a store nearby and if there's not, then we'll upgrade before the end of the sector. Uh, it's a Mantis cruiser, that's very scary. We're gonna teleport on board to their weapons area as we always do and uh, just a couple of humans here. Or just one human. One human and one mantis. Uh, that's that's totally fine. I would love to take one of their weapons offline, but that's going to work itself out just fine anyway. We'll get the small bomb. 
That's taken out their shields, so now we can switch to burst laser and stop wasting wasting missile parts. Now, let's see if we can hunt down their last remaining crew member. Not in the piloting system. Gotta be in the shields room, right? Yeah, there he is. All right. And it's just an NG. Kind of just feel bad for him at this point. With no weapons available, we'll still be able to kill their entire ship. Four fuel, 17 scrap. Luckily, that missed. Uh, and we'll obviously teleport back on board here and send you two into the med bay. Thank God that I was finally informed that there is a click and drag. You don't know Dr. Click and Drag? Oh, he's one of the greatest uh, researchers of uh, General Warts in, in Berlin. Now, fired him. I'm going to get you over here. I'll, and if you uh, don't actually get healed up, I think you know what your fate's going to be based on your namesake. This isn't like a situation where the developers at Subset Games uh, were like, they used to have a third team member, but then they fired him and then they put this in here as an Easter egg. If so, that's uh, uh, very sneaky, sis. So, I'm just going to pick up the second bar of shields. Mostly lasers have been annoying me so far, so I think it's a, an okay idea to do this. You may not agree, but I think it's a smart idea, so I'm going to stick with that. As long as our ship stays alive, we can tear other ships apart from the inside out. I will give them the fuel here. They gave us 22 scrap, which is a pretty good payout. No store for us on this floor, which means no... Um, uh, oh, maybe there actually is a, a store. Upgrade oxygen in exchange for 19 scrap. This time I'm going to decline it. On easy, typically I will take that deal. And I'll take the deal because scrap is easy to come by. But as people have told me in the comments, I've got to be a little bit more um, prudent with my purchases on uh, normal difficulty. And I completely agree with that. So I'm trying to save scrap wherever possible. Ooh, this is a little scary. Um, so we're going to start by powering up our small bomb. And we're going to teleport into their weapons room as we often do. And uh, we're going to obviously usually start with some combat here. What I'm really worried about is there being a fire in the room where our mantises are when they're on low health. Now, they're going to fire a missile at us. Just tell me I can get small bomb at least fired. Yeah, I got it fired just in time to miss, it, it appears. Their crew's entirely dead already, though. So we're, we're not done with this room yet. Send our NG in there to repair this while our mantis gets up here. Because we definitely don't want to jump until we're safe. Um, we're never safe, but... We, we would at least want our system to be back up. Give it a second. Give it a second. Okay, we're good. Now, when can we jump? We can jump now. We're gonna jump now. Okay, a little bit of a scary situation, but that's okay. We'll never surrender to slavers. That's, that's just obvious at this point. Everyone get back to your positions. Oh, you know what? You guys need to heal up a little bit before I send you over there. Um, Power up the med bay. Get small bomb working as well. Our teleporter's not even active yet anyway. This is a pretty scary ship we're dealing with here. Again. And they landed a shot in the med bay. You know what? You guys don't have to worry about that. You just get over there and you'll start attacking their uh, weapons area. And no mantis isn't there to deal with. If they come in, they're at least going to be slow. Small bomb's going to go on their shields. Good. And then we'll get basic laser ready. So there, the human is left. Which I... Oh, those were good misses. I don't blame that human for leaving. Oh, then he came back, it appears. Sure. Are they fixing? What are they fixing right now? That's the real question. I think they might be fixing shields, so I'm just going to shoot in here and maybe do some more damage to them. Our shields are in a bad place. Maybe get the NG over there to fix that while the Mantis mans the piloting system for a minute. Their weapons are now going offline. That's great news for me. And, oh, they are in the shield room there, aren't they? There we go. That guy's going to be hurt. We should probably just go hunt that last remaining dude down, but now that their weapons are offline, we can do so at our leisure. And this guy's going to die, and that's great for us. All right, we actually got another Mantis crew member, which is awesome. And get you guys teleported back. Really need to repair some hull damage. Uh, that should be obvious, I'd say. And you two are at full health, so why don't you uh, come in here and help fix up that breach in the med bay. With the NG, of course. And we should be able to get that up and then get the med bay active really soon. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. And good to go. It is powered up, so we'll just wait till these guys get back to full health. Send them back to base. Now we have a shield personnel in the form of El Nub Nub. It's a great name for the worst, you know, drug cartel leader of all time. Um, send you back this way. These guys get healed up, and then we'll send everybody back where they belong, where the eagles fly on the mountain high. Fired him. You're hurt too. You should come over here to the med bay then. And you guys are supposed to be back in this room. And we'll just wait until your health goes back to 100. Our whole health is in a very dangerous position right now. But our crew is wonderful. 
I don't disagree. There's not a store that I can find. Uh, we'll jump over here because I want to find a store as soon as possible. Basically, missiles at this point could destroy us, so... Do they have a missile launcher? Of course they have a missile launcher. We have to take out their weapon system as soon as possible, so... I'm actually thinking maybe we, uh... This time we teleport into their teleporter room and just stop them from boarding... Alright, instead they're gonna come in here and fight us. We'll get the Mantis to help deal with that. And we gotta take their weapon offline as soon as possible, otherwise we're gonna die. So... We'll, we'll settle that. Uh, hopefully they don't hit our weapon with their weapon. They hit our engines, still pretty bad, but um, there we go. We've taken their weapons offline. That's the most important thing. Now we should go for the clone bay, just so they can't bring anybody back to life. We use some more missiles, we'll land them on their shields so that we can use our... Uh... Oh, they're all dead. Alright, that was good. We, we did take a little bit of damage, but... That damage is basically unavoidable, except by upping our dodge chance, which, uh, yes, is something I want to do. Matt, you should get in here and heal up. How about you? You're you're in a good position, actually. Alrighty, then. Everybody get back here. Actually, it makes more sense to maybe have the Mantis piloting as opposed to the NG, but the NG's getting kind of good at it. Having the NG as a freelance repairman seems way more important, but at the time when I didn't have very many Mantis crew members, this seemed like the right decision to me. Still no store. Uh, this puts us in touch with a couple more beacons, so we'll give it a try. Not danger, thankfully, at least not yet. Two fuel for two drone parts is a bad deal for me. There's a store, okay. 98 scrap. We need to heal ourselves up and then we'll uh, take our picture with Nick Lachey because we're apparently one of his bandmates. We have a clone bay. That's what we want. We don't have anything to sell, so we pick up... Um, we fix up. We can get 50, 50, 50, 50 there. And I'm going to buy some fuel. And then we'll pick up the clone bay instead of the med bay. And I like it a lot. Okay. Now we can be way more aggressive with our... Uh, attacks and you know weapons and dodge chance has to come back next I think so we still have no defense against missiles which is obviously a, a problem I think I'm, I'm revising my strategy a little bit to go for enemy shields before going like with the small sorry I teleport into the shield room and then use small bomb on weapons and that seems to take on missile launchers faster which gives me the best defense against them seems like a smart idea right now uh, they're all dead this is working out fairly nicely come on back now and uh, our clone bay will help us out here Engie, why don't you get down there and help repair this? It's not, uh, is it too late to switch our Engie? I kind of think it is. Or like switch our pilot for a Mantis. We've been doing so much repairing, but it's because our missile defense is so bad. You know what? Why don't you get in the shield room? And then we'll have El Nub Nub pilot the ship. It's going to give us less evasion chance. I'm super okay with that though, because our repairs are going to be more important right now, I think. Even though evade chance does give us... a better chance against missiles. Speaking of missiles, of course, again, here we go. Um, obviously, our crew didn't heal up that fantastically, but because our clone bay is powered up, they will still produce clones for us, so at the very least, we'll be able to distract them here, hopefully get a small bomb on their weapons. They missed us with their attack, which is good. So, uh, it looks like El Nub Nub is probably going to die, or not El Nub Nub, the other unit that we had is probably going to die here. That's okay. We'll send you, uh, we won't send you over yet. Maybe we'll wait till you get a teammate back again. And we're gonna go uh, this time on shields. There we go, and then we'll get our basic laser powered up. One laser's not gonna do anything to me. So we'll wait until our other mantis comes back. Would be nice to improve our clone bay a little bit. So far hasn't been that pressing though. So just stay in the shield room. They're gonna have to send someone in to repair it, but we're gonna basic laser their weapons so they can't get back from that. And they don't have a clone bay. You, you find a number of slaves in the cargo hold, they look at you questionably, and one asks if they're to be released. We're going to get another NG to join our crew. So we got Mort, and we need him for the extra repairs. Is he good at anything? Nope. Uh, but that's okay. He's going to be our doorman for now. And then these mantises are going to come back. And there's no need to send them into a, a special room this time, because we have no med bay. We really need to up our dodge chance and probably our weapon uh, power as well. Alright, so they're trying to escape. This is another situation where I don't really like tele... Oh, you know what? We can teleport them now because we have a clone bay. So, we'll teleport them into the, the shields room. And we'll try to drop uh, an attack ASAP on their engines instead of their weapons. Although, you know, I'm a little scared about it. Well, maybe we'll hit their pilot because I assume there's a pilot in there right now because the FTL chance is growing. Uh, and we should be able to actually kill their entire crew. So, just quickly... Uh, get oh, was there another person alive in here? No. Let's fight it out, motherfucker. Alright, you want to do this? Let's do this. Can't mess with Limbiscuit. Because we're getting it on every day and every night. We got another crew member. 
My god, uh, you're gonna go in our oxygen room to help prevent oxygen fires. Teleport you guys back here. And so far, so good, I would say. We're gonna keep jumping into these beacons. Uh, I think we're doing an admirable job so far. Nothing going on at this one, so we'll jump to the exit beacon. And I'm pretty pleased with how the ship is going so far. Having more missile defense would be very nice, though. Upgrade reactor for two missiles and three drone parts. I think that's a really good trade, actually. Um, sure, we're going to jump to the next sector. We're going to go Mantis Homeworlds. And we're just going to see if maybe there's a store right off the bat. Because if there is, I won't spend any scrap. There is. So we're going to jump, like, Distress Beacon Store, I think. Rather than those other two beacons that could have nothing. This could have nothing, too. Um, promise to help. Re remotely repair its targeting system. A free 38 scrap, which then gives me... Good uh, impetus to go to this store. Just could use some fuel. Now they have drone control sensors, backup battery. We don't have a sensor system, I forgot about that. Uh, the augments aren't that good. The augments are not that good. Um, let's heal up a little bit. And I'm gonna buy six fuel. So now we have a hundred scrap. Emergency respirators, nah. Automated reloader is kinda good. Drone control is really good. It is. And it would give us missile defense. So I think I am going to buy it. And I, I recognize that I'm spreading myself very thin right now. But we won't buy any other uh, systems for a while. This gives me some something to use drone parts with. Not that I have a, a surplus of those right now. Uh, I have to depower some stuff to make it happen. But let's... Uh, th that won't shoot down our bomb coming in. So we're going to go on their uh, shields room right away. And we do this. Oh, we, we may have to fight more enemies than I'm used to, actually, in here. Um, but we do this so that I can then drop a small bomb on their weapons. And I should get a drone up, actually. So let's, um, let's depower the clone bay briefly, at least, to get this active. And we can shoot down that missile coming in. All right, I'm starting to believe. Now, did small bomb, it must not have hit their weapons then. Okay. These guys are still alive. We need to power up this clone bay. How do we do it? Depower our shields one level, but they have two lasers. We really just need some more reactor power. We could depower oxygen for a little while. Um, that seems scary. They actually took out our drone. How did they do that? All right, NG man, you get up here with the rock man. We're gonna repair this drone ASAP. Well, now we can put uh, oxygen power back on. Obviously, there's actually a fire in there, so rock man is gonna be a good asset for us there. Clone bay is powered up. That's all I need to hear. Come on, take out the human. You can do it. Could be the last human. You did it. All right, I'm. Very pleased with your performance, my friend. Although, you know what? I kind of just want this this Mantis to die. I think maybe I'll teleport him back. And then we'll take the NG out of here. And then we'll put the Mantis in there. And we'll see if that just actually kills the Mantis. It didn't. Well. Oh, well. Oh, well, our unit didn't die. I guess there's worse things uh, to be concerned about. but or, I mean, there's better things to be concerned about. Let's get this drone control unit fixed up. It's nice to have some extra missile defense, but obviously we need some more reactor power. Well, you know, if we need some more reactor power, why don't I just um, get that done, basically? There we go. Two more reactor power. We can passively keep our engines... All right, yeah, actually, we can keep engines, clone bay, and get a defense drone when necessary. So that's pretty useful, I would say. Can we... Yeah, we can make the jump from there. So Tomas is going to be a terrible border for us in a second here. If I wanted to, I guess I could micro my crew a little bit more and send different mantises over at different times, but I'd rather just wait for him to die and then we can clone him, basically. All right, are you really... You send one mantis to fight me. Have you seen this fucking ship? It, it's actually, like, it's the, the things that you're trying to do to me are, are comical here. Oh, no, wait, there's, there's more than one mantis. It's just because I don't have any sensors. Um, you know what? You come back here. Wait, okay, you... Ah, uh, we should open up the doors here. Who's almost dead? Doesn't matter. Clone Bay's powered up. Bring it on. Why is this room running out of oxygen? There's no breach. Oh, it's because this door was open. Okay. I mean, it's fine. It's actually totally okay. Borders are gone. Open up the doors. Alright, so we'll just wait for everybody. I should have let Tomas get killed in that ensuing melee. That was pretty silly of me. That's a that's an oh well situation though. Tomas is still a good fighter, right? Yeah, he's a great fighter, so I'll just keep cloning him back to life. That's okay. Our shield personnel did die. That was me being a big idiot. Um, I don't know who it was, but they're still bad at shields, or they're they're now very bad at shields. 
And that's okay, I'm, I'm still happy with the performance that we've got going on here right now. Alright, attack the ship. Seems like a smart idea to me. I think having a defense drone will be a nice little uh, bonus against this Pegasus. And we're gonna go on their shield room because we can send small bomb to work on their weapon room. And Tomas is not long for this world. Which, to be honest with you, probably means that uh, our other Mantis is gonna die in the process as well. But it might be, a, it might be closer than I think here. So we've taken one of their weapons offline. And we shot down their missile. Oh, never mind, we killed them all. I, for the love of God, let me kill these units so they're not so god-awful. Um, that was really easy, though. And we'll continue. Ooh, a little bit of a tight jump here. I don't really want to go to that distress beacon. I'd rather just make a little bit of a beeline for the exit. Just a little bit of a beeline. Do we have anything here? Yeah, always demand the surrender of their goods. Uh, they're trying to escape. That means we teleport into the pilot room here. And we're gonna die, but at least this finally gives us a way to actually sacrifice these units that have been super annoying. And then what we're gonna do is drop a bomb in the piloting room, wait for our people to come back to life. I don't wanna use, if, if I can avoid using missiles, I would rather avoid using missiles, but it doesn't seem like that's totally plausible right now. Is it worth sending one full power mantis over there, or should we just wait? Oh man, that's a lot of lasers. Eh, hey, we just hit an empty room, that's fine. We're gonna drop one more of these fat boys over here. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Now, our other Mantis is almost back. So we're gonna send you over here. And we're gonna send you straight into the, uh, the shields room so we can drop a bomb on the weapons. Oh, that guy's dead. Um, is there a weapon personnel that we can fight? No, it's just this guy. Okay, let's, let's fight it out, man. He's got low health, too. We're taking some damage. Did, you know, never let me say that we're not, but hopefully we can take out their weapons with this bomb. Yeah, it took out the, the relevant weapon, at least. And that was the last crew member. We got a combat drone for that, which is, let's be honest, probably only going to be good for selling, but nice to have it regardless. Come on back now, and we're good to go. 58 scrap. Uh, would like to hit up that store, but we can hit up a couple of beacons before that. And I don't want to buy any more systems. I said I wasn't going to buy any more systems. Uh, agree to offer the Mantis up in exchange for a bounty. Oh shit, that didn't work. It was a trap. Um, you come this way and we'll do this. And why, why does it only send one Mantis there? They have a defense drone which blocks missiles but not bombs and uh... I should have just boarded them right off the bat but we'll fight out this intruder first. They only have an ion weapon and a laser so if we small bomb... Uh, come this way. If we small bomb their uh, weapon systems we should be fine. There we go, that started a pretty crazy fire. They do have a Mantis. I think ju that scares me a little bit, and, and justifiably so. But we'll see what kind of crew members they have. They have a few Mantis. Doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, because... Um, oh, they don't have a clone bay. No, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, because we can just use... Oh, no need to even use small bomb there. Uh, we can just clone our units and send them back anyway. And if they can't attack us, then they're, they're dead in the water, basically, right? Um, we could use a combat drone here. I don't think that's prudent, though. They would rather just either send one Mantis, oh, their oxygen went out due to a fire, too. Ooh, that's very lucky. Now, we could uh, use another missile. I would rather not, though, if given the choice. So we'll wait for our other Mantis crew member to come back. And then, this basically what we're doing is just like a war of attrition here. We'll teleport back into, but well, they're going in the pilot room. So we'll meet them there, if that's where they're coming. Doesn't seem to be that where they're coming. I was thinking we would go on the um, medbay? Nope. I was thinking we'd go on their uh, shields. Where are they trying to put out this fire? Oh, that's bad for them. Probably gonna run to the med bay. We'll kill this guy, then we'll run to the med bay. And, oh, well, we'll kill them both in the med bay then. That seems like it might be a little bit of a tall order, doesn't it? Ooh, I wonder if we can actually do damage to them. I don't know if we can. I'll tell you what we can do though. We can go to the shields room and put a small bomb in the med bay. Yeah, that'll pretty much finish them off, especially... Here's the, the moment of truth, then, if we can finish them off this way. Well, they're trying to fix the med bay. Hey, we did it! Alright, required a few more missiles than I would have liked, and we probably didn't need to lose as many uh, uh, as many HP on our crew as we did. So be it, though. Shit happens. We'll get a couple of free jumps here to heal up. And we're not picking up. Oh, actually, reconstructive teleport is super useful. So we're not buying anything else. Except for fixing up a little bit, and I guess one fuel. So now our crew should fully heal every time they teleport, which actually seems exceptionally useful for um, what we've got going on here. So, uh, our man, let's check this out and see if it works. Do our mantis fully heal if they go into the shield room? 
Yes, they do. That is beautiful. So that's going to make our clone bay even more effective, because now basically the caveat to the clone bay is, yes, your units never die. However, they, um, they also don't get the benefit of, like, burst healing whenever they want it. Now, um, our units never die, and every time they teleport, they get fully healed. So we don't really have as much of that negative as we had before. I'm using way too many missiles. I, I will, you know, confirm that. I think what I'm going to do is actually just teleport my crew back, just so I don't have to wait for the clone bay to fix them. And um, we are going to use another small bomb, because I'm mad because I'm bad. And uh, in doing so, that'll allow us to use basic laser, assuming our bomb hit, which it actually didn't. So what we're actually going to do is wait for our teleporter to be done, and then we're going to teleport our mantises back on board. Send them back into the shield room, I guess. Just so that if they actually manage to take out the shields, uh, then I can uh, start living my life. I just really don't want them to get that flat cannon back online, but I don't think they'll be able to. Where are you going? I'll fight you wherever you choose to go. They're going to the med bay. So we can't fight them in the med bay. We might as well take out their shields first. All we need to do is take out one bar, and then we're fine. I am mismanaging this a little bit, and I will, you know, confirm that right off the bat. You don't need me to actually confirm that, but I think you, you get the gist of it. These guys are still going to die unless they escape, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, they're going to go back to the med bay, and this is going to allow us to finally get some shots in, because as soon as their shields go completely down, which they oh, are right now, then we just attack the med bay, and now that's completely offline. And then fuck the shields. We can just come in here and, and fight these guys instead, and that's going to be GG. GG for them. Are we losing a crew member here? We almost did. Doesn't really matter, though, because when we teleport them back, it's like having a third level med bay, basically. And by buying the uh, reconstructive teleport, I'm so much more de incentivized to actually pick up uh, extra levels of the clone. Mm, try to communicate peacefully. And they did nothing. Um, yeah, it's actually like much less important for me to get a third level clone bay now because they heal so quickly. Mind you, we do have holes in our strategy right now. A second bar of weapons is, like, goddamn essential. If I don't manage to get a second bar of weapons up really soon, we're gonna be in, uh, we're gonna be in a problem state. And, you know, part and parcel with that is actually... You're really gonna mind control that, dude? Come on. Uh, part and parcel with that is actually being in a situation where I can, uh... We have a couple of Rockmen and a Zoltan there. Uh, is being in a situation where I can actually have a different weapon that doesn't require missile parts, because... I'm kind of getting screwed by that right now. So I am going to drop a small bomb on their weapons if possible. They have a pretty potent supply here. Um, the bomb hit at least, which is all that really matters. They're all dead. I probably didn't have to use that missile then, but I didn't know how much they had in them. So we'll teleport you back. And that'll be a full heal. It's not a store. Um, so I'm just going to get that extra bar of weapon power so we can power both the laser and the bomb at the same time. But really, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm doing this so that on the next uh, sh shop, I can hopefully buy a better weapon. I I'll give them two fuel. They gave us 51 scrap as a reward. That's a very nice payment. But I am starting to feel the burn a little bit here. So they've got uh, a hacking system, which scares me a little bit. But we'll just go on board as soon as possible. Uh, and we're going to hit... Um, please don't hack drone control. That's what I'm worried about. We'll go on... We'll go on weapons first. All right, so they have a human in there. They hack teleporter, which is actually totally... F oh, no, it sends our units back. Ooh, that is interesting then. Um, well, uh, we're going to put out our missile defense drone, despite not having many drone parts, because we need to shoot down uh, their missiles. Otherwise, we might be screwed. Then I'm going to try to hit their hacking unit with our uh, bomb, which actually missed. Thanks for that. Without being able to take out their hacking unit, we can't win this fight. I, I haven't run the math myself, but it seems like it would be impossible. Let's try this again. That one actually worked. Their hacking system's completely offline, so now we can teleport inside of this uh, shields room and, and start doing, doing what we do best. And they are not ready for combat. These humans are going to get uh, destroyed very, very quickly. And we're running low on resources, very low on missiles, very low on uh, on drone parts. And we're going to keep shooting down their missiles, so they have no means to kill us. But um, we were we were in a bit of a weird spot there for a while, too. And I really, really am getting low on missiles and, uh, and drone parts. We need another weapon, because otherwise it's very difficult for me to get through their shields. I could just wait it out, but that's risky, too. Oh, of course we have a... Um, they've mind-controlled... 
our mantis here, which actually might prove to be kind of a problem. What we do here is we um, we bomb their shields. I think we have to send our mantises in here, to be honest with you. And we do this just so they that they can't take out all of our weapons. Oh god, okay. What, what went out there? Ooh, shields are like completely out. And we missed taking out their shields. Holy shit, I think we're actually gonna die here. Uh, everybody go back, back to your rooms of choice. No reason for basic laser. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not good. Take out their shields. Okay, let them feel the burn of the asteroid field. I can't, oh my god. I really thought we were doing well there. It, extra dodge chance would have helped out a great deal. Wow, um, that's really bad. That's that's just not very good, is it? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode in spite of my ineptitude. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And I'll um, try another ship out for our next run. But again, thanks for watching. It was fun nonetheless. I enjoy fucking with the teleporter. Really bad string of luck there. But, I mean, poor play as well, maybe. Probably definitely, but uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And of course, thanks for watching.